Welcome to our presentation on how to use the disabilityworks.org website. In this video we will cover the Employment Step Guide, Benefits Estimator, Services Locator, Community Survey, Resources Search, Frequently Asked Questions, and Video News and Events. Why Disability Works? The purpose is to provide resources that help individuals with disabilities achieve their employment and training goals while also empowering people to break down the barriers to achieving these goals. Through joining, contributing, and collaborating through a network of services and supports within the state. Disabilities Works launched in 2005 with the mission to develop and implement strategies to enhance employment and training opportunities for people with disabilities throughout Illinois. Funded by WIA, Disability Works was originally coordinated through the Chicago Land Chamber of Commerce to provide a strong business presence and commitment to the mission. Since then, the Disability Works presence has been moved to the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity to strengthen the business presence statewide and increase employment opportunities for individuals with disabilities. Disability Works offers valuable information and resources that inspire sound employer-to-employee relationships. Disability Works breaks down barriers that keep people with disabilities from finding jobs. The initiative works directly with employers to meet labor market demands through employer education and job matching. Employers can find the right employee for the right job. Through information and referral, people with disabilities can find the right kind of job training or job placement program. Let's begin by showing you how to navigate through disabilityworks.org. At the top of the screen, you will see a toolbar with a drop-down menus. You have the ability to search for a topic from the top menu and you are able to translate the website into five different languages. In the middle of the main page is a navigation grid with links to the major components of the website. Below is a disability resources feature rotator that links to each resource. At the bottom of the page we have a spot for you to sign up for our news e-news follow us on our social media, and the other pathways associated with Illinois WorkNet, and a link to Browse Aloud that is a software that will read the web pages out loud for visually impaired individuals. The first section we will show you is the Employment Step Guide. The Employment Step Guide is a series of pages in a step format to help you achieve your training and employment goals. In the first step, you will be able to view a Getting Started with Illinois WorkNet video. To make the best use of the Employment Step Guide, we advise you to log in to your Illinois WorkNet account. If you already have one, you can just follow the link that says Log In and Get Started. If you don't have an account, you can easily set one up by clicking on the link that says My Illinois WorkNet Account. All of our steps include videos, documents, and additional resources to help you achieve your goal of employment. Our steps include benefits and services available to Illinois residents with disabilities, tools to help you develop a financial management plan, and resources to help you learn about career and training options. The last three steps include helping you prepare for a job search and creating your resume, tools to help you learn about job search approaches and applying for a job, and resources to help you find and enroll in education and training programs to enhance your skills for employment. Illinois WorkNet offers additional resources to help you with things like childcare, housing, reentry services, transportation, or veteran services. Go to IllinoisWorkNet.com, select the Individuals tab, and then select Services. The Illinois Benefits Estimator is our next topic for discussion. The Benefits Estimator helps you determine a variety of scenarios related to income and disability benefit calculations. You can learn about other benefits available to you now. Who is this for and what will I need? 
People currently receiving disability benefits are between 16 and 64. For benefits eligibility, you must be a citizen or legal permanent U.S. resident and reside in Illinois. And you will need bank statements, workers' compensation, or other benefit sources. How long will it take? Will my information be kept private? The estimator takes less than 10 minutes to complete, and all of the information remains confidential. What will I get? The estimator considers your current income and benefits and provides for an additional income change or a job replacement. A benefits summary identifies potential benefits and options to explore. When you are ready to start, you can select the red button labeled Start the Benefits Estimator. Use the estimator to calculate a number of work-related variations. Your results are estimates only. This is not a replacement for professional benefits analysis. Use the estimator as you consider a change in employment and then contact a WIPA coordinator to discuss your results. WIPA stands for Work Incentive Planning Assistance. Your progress is tracked with a bar to indicate your completion percentage. You will see a variety of options as you answer the questions. As you are nearing the end of the estimation, you will see the option to see the benefits as you entered them, estimate by adding an additional job, or estimate by adding a new job. You will see a screen that shows you the information that you entered, along with a results summary identifying potential benefits and options to explore. The important thing to remember is you are able to start over throughout the process and or go to the previous slide to make any corrections or recalculate a total based upon alternate options. Remember, these results are estimates only. This is not a replacement for professional benefits analysis. Use the estimator as you consider a change in employment and then contact a WIPA coordinator to discuss your results. The Disability Services Locator the, dis the Disability Services Locator is a tool to help you find physical locations with services that could assist you. The default lookup is for all disability resources and will include WIPA Work Incentive Coordinators. Should you like to do so, there is an option to drill down for individual services or business services. You may search by zip code, county, or local workforce area. And once you find a location, you can select View Map, which will open up Google Maps so that you can get directions. Once you have entered your search parameters, you will select a way to view your results. By selecting the List View, the results will yield a list of the locations with the contact information. By selecting Grid View, your results will yield a grid with all of the locations and the contact information. By selecting Map View, the results will yield a pinpoint representation of the locations. When you select a point, a pop-up box will show with the contact information for that specific location. The next section that we will discuss is the Community Survey. In 2011, Disability Works launched the Community Services Assessment Tool, or CSAT, a project to provide civic leaders with a structured process to learn about the available services to persons with disabilities in a specific community and to assess potential gaps and unmet service needs that may inhibit the full participation of people with disabilities. A community may be a region of the state, county, town, or neighborhood. The information acquired through this process will help local communities to improve program services, reduce duplication, and make the overall community more responsive to the participation of its residents. Employment of people with disabilities does not take place in isolation, but as part of a broader continuum of community supports and activities. The assessment tool therefore looks at the accessibility of a community in the context of broader issues and concerns specific to persons with disabilities. 
Some of the ratings are not solely related to access for individuals with disabilities and may point to related livability factors. To access the survey, just click on the red box that says Take the CSAT survey or review results. To participate in the survey, you must be logged in to Illinois WorkNet. If you do not already have an account, you can register for one right away. Once you are logged in to your Illinois WorkNet account and have access to the survey, select a geographic area, either county or city, and enter a community or county name. A list of survey sections will appear from which you can choose to complete. When you select the one that you wish to complete, a pop-out will appear with a button to select Complete this section. The sections of the survey are easy to answer with multiple choice answers. Once you have completed the section, you can submit the section and return to the menu, or you can submit the section and review the results. You are able to view the results of the survey by location. If you wish to share the results of the sections that you complete, you will need to use the link in the gray area above the map. Let's take a look at our section on resources search. Disability Works offers a very robust search tool to help you find the resources you need to help your employment and job training activities. To help you refine your search results, we offer a number of filtering options. Topic, work support services, region, media type, and end user. You can view the search tips offered, which include many Boolean search tips, like including quotes, plus signs, or minus signs. You may establish how you would like to search your results to appear, including A to Z, newest in a list, or several other options. We offer a Frequently Asked Questions section, or FAQ. In our FAQ section, you can find answers to questions you have that others may have already asked about things like accommodations, job search, or self-employment. If your question is not already in the list, there is a red box that gives you the opportunity to ask your own question by category. If your category is not there, just include it in the first line of the comment, then ask your question. We will find the correct answer to your question and then share it for others to see. We have sections to help keep you up to date that include videos, news, and events. Our video section includes videos like this one that will help you navigate a variety of topics. The news section includes links to news items posted by Disability Works and other workforce partners. You can follow our Facebook and Twitter feeds as well. The events page shows you a listing of the upcoming calendar events, including workshops, job fairs, and conferences. You have the ability to filter your events by zip code, keyword, or event type. Click on an item in the list to see the details, including a link to the event or registration. If you have an event you would like to post, click Add Event, which will take you to Illinois WorkNet, where you will log in with your account agree to the event's posting terms and conditions, and then create your event. Thank you for viewing this video on how to use disabilityworks.org. If you have questions, you may direct them to info at illinoisworknet.com. View this video on our video resource page or visit the Illinois WorkNet channel on YouTube. We welcome you to join us on our Facebook page, LinkedIn company page, Twitter, or join our Illinois Virtual Job Club Network LinkedIn group.